So I'm joined now in the studio with Kelly Allen. Kelly is Jenny Welsh's younger sister. Kelly, welcome to Country Roads. Thanks for having me. So Thank pleased you. to be here. Thank you for being here and we're really delighted to have you in to talk today about Jenny's new single which is Keep Rolling On which released uh, on Monday the 28th of February. There's lots of exciting stuff to do with the single that we want to talk about but Mm -hmm. first I'd I'd love to get to know a little bit more about Jenny so tell us a little bit in your own words uh, about what Jenny was like. So from the moment I suppose Jenny got to open her mouth I suppose she was singing and it was always country music so from the second she could hold a tune, from the second she knew she could sing, she was up in front of the family, at family parties from a very young age. She would always be there entertaining the family, entertaining the older ones as well. We've got a lot of Irish family, so we would always have big parties where everyone would come over. We'd all be in the living room and Jenny would be there having a sing song. And then it just went from there, really. She went to stage school um, and then she had her three children. And then after that, she when she was singing in the pubs and the clubs, and um, she just absolutely loved it. And then a couple of, I'd say, two, maybe three years ago, my cousin's also a um, singer, producer, he's got his other own bands in the past. They got together and they wrote a song together, which was called Come Dance With Me. That was their first single. And she was successful with that one as well. They got to number five in the country charts. Then they done a Christmas single together, which got to the top 40 in the UK main charts as well. So they did really well with that. So catchy, really good Christmas song. And then, yeah, and then sadly, Jenny was diagnosed with cancer. So she she was, cervical cancer it was. So she went through chemo. She'd done trials, things like that. And then when she was quite poorly, my cousin came to her with this song and they decided they, they wanted to record it. And she wanted to record it for her kids and she wanted to be out there. And then she sadly passed away in November. But then the song was finally ready to release and we released it with the wishes of Jenny before she passed away and her three children as well. And I think the song has been, well, it's got rave reviews from everyone who's had it, got to number two in the UK country charts. She got above the Shires, which she would have been, oh my God, she'd have been over the moon for that because she loved the Shires. And Jenna Kramer as well. She was her biggest fan. Like I've never known anyone such a fan of someone. She loved us so much. She was always singing this song, Whiskey. She'd have been she'd have been thrilled and she'd have been up there ready to accept her Grammy and everything with the number two in the UK country charts if she could. So I have to ask, what did Jenny ever talk about why country music? So why was it country music over at pop or anything else? I think it stemmed from uh, the family, to be honest. Like I said, we've got um, my grandparents are Irish and anything she sang growing up was for, not for them, but for the family. So it was always, can you sing this song? Can you sing that song? And then she just developed a love of the music that she grew up listening to. And, and with, with other things, did she ever want to be anything else? Or was it always that she wanted to be a singer, that, that was that she had a heart Yeah, she that. wanted to be, she was a care worker um, before she passed away. But she, what she was doing, she was, now that her children are growing up and her youngest had started high school, she was, um, she had applied to become a nurse. So she obviously, her dream was of being a singer, but she did also want to become an artist because her Jenny was help. She wanted to help anybody she could. She loved to help if she could. If there was anyone in need, she'd do anything she could for anybody. So she thought nursing would be the way to go after the care work. So, of course, she would have loved to have been a pop star or a country star. She would have absolutely loved that and to be on the stage just to sing. But, yeah, she also was really grounded and really wanted to help people. And with the with the single coming out, so the single was released yeah. on February the 28th. How did the decision come about by the family to release the song? And, and what was that process like for you all as a family? It was Jenny's wishes. So we had like sort of a, um, the song wasn't completed yet, but they had a little master of sort of what it would sound like. And before Jenny passed away and my mum let Jenny listen to it. And we asked the question, like, what do you want us to do with it? Do you want us to keep it for us, keep it for the children. And she said, no, put it out there. Like she wanted to get her voice out there. We all love to sing along with her. So she knew we would love to be listening to her song whenever we can. So it's just easy for us just going into the kitchen and say, Alexa, play Jenny Walsh, keep rolling on. So when it was finally ready, our cousin came to us and he said, like, what do you want to do with it? Like, we know it was Jenny's wishes to release it, but what do you actually want to? So we spoke to the children and they they said definitely, yeah, they wanted their mum's song out there because they knew she would have loved that as well. So we decided to release it for them and for Jenny in her honour and her memory. 
And so at its peak, so it came out on Monday, the, the news of course yeah. over Instagram was that by uh, by Tuesday it had already shot up to number two in the, yeah. in the UK yeah. iTunes country chart. And you said there about it being above the Shires. It was also above the mm. likes of Chris Stapleton, Lady yeah. A, like really big yeah. household country names. Mm-hmm. And, and you touched on how Jenny would feel about that, but how, how, are her, how are the family feeling about it? How are Jenny's children feeling about it to see that kind of really big monumentous achievement coming from that song they're so proud of because like i said because of her love for country music it also went over to her children so her children knew the likes of janet Cameron and lady a and we were always singing in the car and it was always need you now and um american honey and we loved all the lady a songs and so it was their children so for them to see she was surpassing those artists it was like they were so happy and well it's just a, such an overwhelming thing to know that she was getting there and every, we knew everybody was listening to her song and everyone who was listening to it was telling us how much they absolutely loved it. It was so catchy and yeah, it's just it's just such a proud, proud feeling to know that. And how does it feel, obviously, because it, it feels like a really, a, a real family effort to keep Jenny's mm. legacy going. You talked about your cousin. Yeah. I know that your your sister and your brother are involved as well. Yeah. How How does that help you all as well? Because I imagine after going through something that's, you know, that sense of loss, like how does yeah. it feel as a family to, to really come together? You seem very close as a family anyway. Yeah, but, definitely. But, but how you can kind of all come together to, to keep Jenny's legacy going? I think it helps. It helps. I know it helps me and it helps us all to to keep talking about her. So the more we talk about her, the more we know, you know, she would be still be in our lives. And we I've got a five year old daughter and she asks every single day and she loved her Auntie Jenny and Jenny loved her nieces and nephews. She was she loved the children in the family and she loved her own children more than anything in the world. And just for them we all try and talk about Jenny as much as we can. And everybody who met Jenny just absolutely fell in love with her there. And then straight away, she was just one of those people who lit up the room and she walked in. So we want to carry that on. And through song, we're able to do that because we now got these three songs, thanks to Jenny and my cousin Wesley. We're just so thankful to Wesley for those songs. And we're so thankful to Jenny for finishing them off, even though she was in quite a bit of pain finishing the last song off but she did it because she knew she wanted to i love what you said earlier as well about the fact that you can just sort of say your sister's name to alexa and and these songs will yeah. shuffle and yeah and that, that must it. be such a lovely thing um because mm. it, it, it's just captured there that that moment in time and and especially with i know another one of jenny's songs was was the christmas song that came out yeah. that, that yeah. you put out around christmas time mm-hmm. so again having that song uh, that time of year as well I imagine must yeah. be really special for the family too yeah it was yeah again like we we spoke to the children because she had already released that one the previous year but mm. my cousin remastered it and changed it a little bit and he said like what what should we do because this is obviously after Jenny will pass over again she had heard the song and there was all intentions to release it again so again the children wanted to get their mum's song out there so through December she was with them through that month of December she was with all of us really because yeah. whenever we needed we needed a bit of Jenny we could just like I said ask our devices and she'd be there singing to us like she would have done I just think it's a truly wonderful thing what you've done and it and it is a truly great song and I and I think that yeah. shouldn't that shouldn't be lost you know I think that it's a it's mm. a truly unique story that that goes behind this song but it it does stand alone I think it is a, it's an incredibly good song and Jenny had an incredibly great voice and, yeah. I, and I think the song itself you, and you mentioned about Jenny's first song about being very upbeat I I think all mm-hmm. three of the songs that are out for Jenny at the moment they all have uh, what I imagine she was uh, who she was as a person you talk about her personality that very yeah. much comes across in all of her songs yeah, I, I do I do want to ask you Kelly is there do you as a family have plans for for the future to sort of further cement Jenny's legacy is there is there plans for anything in the future or is this it now is that is that it for you guys well if Jenny was here she would have been trying she would have wanted to try and get his song and his story out there to be honest along with his story goes the Mm. song because she was fighting uh she was fighting cancer but also she was trying to cement this legacy for her children and her family to have so we would love nothing more than to get this song and Jenny's story out as far and wide as we can. So we're trying as far as we can get it. We'll get it as far as we can. Definitely. And right now, outside of the music, where can people go to find out more about Jenny's story? What what platforms? So do you there have? is a GoFundMe page that is still there that um, our cousins, our cousins in Swindon who actually started 
they found out about Jenny and without asking anybody or telling anybody they set up this group for me page, which is so kind of them. And people were so generous and they raised about £33,000, which Jenny used for treatments because she'd done um, medical trial, private doctors, metabolic approach. So she, she tried everything. So the whole story of the trial, the chemotherapy, it's all on the GoFundMe page. So you, all you have to do is Google Jenny Walsh GoFundMe. She also has a music Instagram page, which is Jenny Walsh Music. And again, all the information's on there. And the Facebook page, which is again, Jenny Walsh Music on Facebook. So you can find it on all the platforms. We are still there running the pages as a family. And my elder sister, Katie, she's mainly in charge of the um, the social pages Great. That's fantastic. Uh, so Jenny Walsh's brand new single, Keep Rolling On, is out now. Uh, as Kelly mentioned, it's already reached as high as number two in the UK iTunes charts. It's still in the top 10. Uh, and to those that haven't gone out and downloaded it yet, highly recommend that you do because A, it's a great song and B, it would be great if we could get it back up to the top end of the charts as well. Yeah. Kelly, thank you so much for joining me on Country Roads today. I really appreciate your no time. Thank you so much for having me. with me by jenny walsh thank you so much again to kelly allen jenny's sister for joining me earlier on in the week to talk about her sister jenny and that wonderful song keep rolling on if you are yet to download it head on over to itunes or wherever you legally download your music from and download the song and of course go on over to jenny walsh's instagram jenny walsh music and share with the family what you thought of that song and of course kelly did point out after we stopped 
recording the interview the gofundme page is simply to read more about jenny's story the family are no longer looking for donations uh, but if you do want to learn more about jenny's fight with cancer or what inspired her uh, to become a country artist her story is on the gofundme page so go and check that out but thank you once again uh, to kelly allen and all of jenny walsh's family they've been so fantastic with me and the show this week and i really hope that we did jenny's song and her story justice coming up on 